Psalm 58 is the psalm that is hardly ever used in worship or in any of the lectionaries. It includes words that seek to bring curses of the most terrible nature upon others. Effectively, these words express the hope that the psalmist's enemies would no longer have the gift of life. This hope rests on the fact that there is a God that judgeth the earth. How do we respond to such words? On the one hand, if we are honest, there are times when such feelings well up within us in response to deep injustices, and it is perhaps helpful to hear them as part of our experience of life under God. But on the other hand, we need to remember that God's judgment is carried out in love, with mercy and the hope of restoration in his image, which is imprinted upon us all. Are your minds set upon righteousness, O ye congregation? And do ye judge the thing that is right, O ye sons of men? Yea, ye imagine mischief in your heart upon the earth, and your hands deal with wickedness. The ungodly are froward even from their mother's womb, As soon as they are born, they go astray and speak lies. They are as venomous as the poison of a serpent, even like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ears, which refuseth to hear the voice of the charmer, charm he never so wisely. Break their teeth, O God, in their mouths. Smite the jawbones of the lions, O Lord. Let them fall away like water that runneth apace. And when they shoot their arrows, let them be rooted out. Let them consume away like a snail and be like the untimely fruit of a woman and let them not see the sun. Or ever your pots be made hot with thorns, so let indignation vex him, even as a thing that is raw. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth a vengeance. He shall wash his footsteps in the blood of the ungodly so that a man shall say, Verily there is a reward for the righteous. Doubtless there is a God that judgeth the earth.